Hi! When I became mesmerized with the idea of improvising more than 35 years ago, I could not hear chords or chord progressions to save my life. I did not play piano and had not studied harmony. I was fumbling around in the dark and knew it. However, by listening to and transcribing many songs, I've been able to slowly develop my ear to the point where I can recognize chords and chord sequences that are commonly used with some good facility, just as I can recognize a herb like coriander just by its taste alone, not by seeing it or having to read the label. I would now like to share a system I put together with anyone who might be interested in searching for a way to develop that ear to hear chords and progressions and gain familiarity with the more exotic non-diatonic notes. Right, so here is the scale of C major that we shall be using for ease of comprehension. And here is the scale harmonized with the three fundamental chords of music, one, four, and five. Why these chords, you may ask? Why not these diatonic triads of C major? Well, the 1, 4 and 5 chords are like the pillars of harmony to understand and hear, whereas the scale with the diatonic chords is just more like an exercise. With just these 1, 4 and 5 chords you can play a lot of music. For instance, you can play all these blues tunes. In the summertime when the weather is hot Warning! Continued viewing is not recommended if you are experiencing any FUD at all with the aforementioned 1, 4 and 5 harmonization of the major scale. Okay, so now we are going to start adding exotic non-diatonic notes in the tonality of C major with the purpose of seeing what the harmonic implications will be. Let's first add F sharp to the scale, the sharp and fourth. Of course, this is also known as G flat, the flat and fifth. So we are not replacing but adding more colours, if you like, to the world of C major. So, the chord that this F sharp suggests in the key of C is D, or D7. A bright, uplifting sound. So this chord is 2-7. I know many folk like to call this 5-7 of 5, and that is fine. This chord, 2-7, is heard everywhere. Here is a basic chord progression that contains this chord to know and love if you do not already. And here are some examples of this chord in action, which I find incredibly useful to reference, as associating the chord movement with a song can really help the internalization of this sound. Pay attention please, as later there's going to be a test. Love me tender, love me sweet and tan and young and lovely The girl from Ipanema goes walking and Can you think of any progressions that go from 1 to 2, 7 and then onwards? Now let's look at the note B flat. The chord this suggests in C major is C7. Kind of bluesy sound, no? This is called 1-7, one, 1-dominant-7, one dominant seven, also known as 5-7 of 4. This C wants to resolve to F, the chord 4. Here is a video of Stevie Wonder using this progression. And here are some other well-known tunes that use this so important progression, 1-1-7 one, one, to 4. Amazing grace, how sweet. The sound. Oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling.
Can you think of any further examples? OK, now let's add the A flat. The presence of this flat 6 or sharp 5 is for me one of the most emotional sounds in music. The chord the A flat suggests, perhaps more than any other, is the F minor, the 4 minor. A very emotional, heart on sleeve sensation is evoked for me. Here are some examples. Years here the A flat can also be written as G sharp in the key of C. This note highly suggests the chord of E7. This is called 3 7 or 5 7 of 6. This is like a gospel sound to my sensibilities. Disclaimer. Of course these notes can evoke other chords, but these are the very basic ones. Here are some famous songs using the 3-7 chord in a major key. Georgia, Georgia, I wish I knew how it would feel. Grab your coat, grab your hat, baby. Do any further examples occur to you? The next note that we will look at is E flat. This is very interesting, being the minor third. One of the first chords that comes to mind in C major is F7, the 4 7 chord. Quite a pungent, bluesy sound. Here are some great examples of this chord movement 1 to 4 7. Willow, weep for me. Willow, weep for me. In other words, hold my hand. The last non-diatonic note to look at in C major is C sharp, the sharpened tonic or flattened supertonic. In C major, the first chord that comes to mind is the 6-7-8-7 chord. A very common small repeated sequence called a turnaround can use this chord. Subtle variation. Here are some real life examples. I love to get you on a store. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone. OK, so now we have seen the five non-diatonic notes of C major and looked at the closest, most obvious chords they suggest. In the next video, we will look at more chord possibilities and test whether we can recognise these sounds. Do not despair if you cannot hear all the chord movements straight away. Practice on the piano slowly, immersing your spirit and soul in the sounds. Also, listen out for these movements in the music you hear. Developing the ability to hear a language takes time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, click the like button and the alert bell to be notified of new uploads. Also, if you wish to directly support and nurture the creation of similar presentations in the future, please visit the Jazz Duets Patreon page. See you next time.